Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is October 21st, 2023. And as we are watching for the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which will happen any day, any hour, any moment now, we are waiting anxiously for all of the signs to be complete and for our Lord to come for his church. We continue to watch the signs that we are seeing. And I want to talk to you today about the Yom Kippur War from 1973 and the war timeline and how it's connecting with 2023, 50 years exactly, 50 years to the day from the beginning of the war uh, on Yom Kippur in 1973 to the war that began this year on October 7th. 50 years to the day plus one day and then we have the discovery of an asteroid the asteroid storm that was discovered on the 27th day of October of 1973 okay so we have we have the war of 1973 October 6th and the the war ended on October 28th and then just before the war ended the day before on October 27th, there was an asteroid that was discovered, the asteroid storm. Now, we've talked about this in previous videos, and we were looking at the Day of Atonement. But all of that was before the war began on October 7th, which turns out to be the 50-year anniversary. Okay, so the war itself in 1973 was a 21 or a 22-day war. 21 days to the discovery of asteroid storm and the war in heaven which is connected to Michael the Archangel and Revelation chapter 12 talks about this it's also shown in Daniel chapter 10 where there's a war in heaven and the Archangel Michael has a battle for 21 days and we have a war in 1973 that was a 21 or 22 day battle and now, on the same day, 50 years later, we have a, an, a war that begins on October 7th. Is this pointing us to a 21-day time frame to October 27th or, to, or October 28th? Okay. Now, the other important detail about this asteroid, okay, and we had looked at this, and I want to look at this again. The important thing for us here in, in 2023 is that the asteroid storm was connected to the Feast of Trumpets exactly in conjunction with the new moon of the Feast of Trumpets on September 16th, also in conjunction with Mars, right here in the constellation of Virgo. This is an amazing sign for us, bringing us to the fall feast days of 2023 and the exact day of the Feast of Trumpets connected to the new moon. Right here with Mars and the moon on the Feast of Trumpets, September 16th. Now if we go forward, okay, we're going to watch Asteroid Storm and we're going to go forward. Okay, here was the beginning of the war on October 7th. Still connected to Virgo, still connected to Mars, still connected to the sun. And the sun is coming up and is going to go past uh, the asteroid storm here. And let's go forward now 21 days to October 28th. Okay, this this is October 28th okay this is 21 days after the beginning of the war see there's a war in heaven that's taking place a war in heaven is taking place 
And is the war in heaven connected to the war on earth? Is the sign of the war on earth the sign of the war in heaven? Just as it was in 1973, where we have a 21-day battle, and then we have this asteroid storm that was found, and the war ends, okay? Now we have a 21-day battle in, in Revelation chapter 12, and on the 50-year anniversary of the Yom Kippur War from 1973, another war breaks out, and this is the worst war in Israel's history. This is the worst war since 1973, and it happens on the seventh day of Tabernacles, okay, and a 21-day battle. Now, okay, and now here we have uh, the asteroid storm is just leaving Virgo, still connected to the sun. And we have Mars and Mercury in perfect conjunction, just as it were that maybe the two witnesses, a sign of the coming of the two witnesses at the rapture of the church. Pretty amazing uh, situation here. Um, and a few more details about October 28th that I want to share with you. If we go to the Torah calendar, we're going to see that this weekend, even on the Hebrew calendar, we'll see this. This weekend, October 21st, starting on the Sabbath of October 21st, is the Sabbath of Noah. And this, is, this leads them to the uh, Bible reading of the time of Noah. Noah means rest. Uh, the, the Bible reading takes them to Genesis chapter 6 through chapter 11, the story of the flood all the way through the Tower of Babel. And this is the Bible reading that all Jews worldwide will be reading this week connected to the uh, story of Noah. Okay, And then next week, Going into the 28th of October, the, uh, the Sabbath is called Lech Lecha, and this means to go out, and the Bible reading uh, is from Genesis chapter 12 through Genesis chapter 17. So from the beginning of the story of Abraham, where he was co called to go out from his uh, land to leave Ur of the Chaldeans and to go to a land that God would show him and the beginning of the promise of God after the time of Noah and the beginning of the uh, age of Abraham and the, the, the rise of Israel. Okay, the rise of Israel. So go out. And so this is, a, this is an amazing uh, scenario here where you have, the, this is the Sabbath of Noah the next Sabbath is the Sabbath of go out, okay? Is this a seven-day warning from Noah to go out? Okay, and then on the 28th, the other thing we have here is that we have this lunar eclipse, this lunar eclipse that's taking place. And as I've shown you, okay, as I've shown you, and as we know that the Bible says, not only in Acts chapter 2, but in Joel chapter 2, it says, I will show wonders in the heaven above, signs on the earth below, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And so after the, the beginning of the war, we had that amazing annular solar eclipse that went across the entire continent of North, Central, and South America. Then we have the, the volcano that erupted in Mexico on the day of the solar eclipse. And, and then we have coming up uh, on the 28th, a lunar eclipse. And so we have these three signs that the sun is turned to darkness, the, the moon is being turned to blood, blood and fire and billows of smoke. And all of this it, are signs for us before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And so together with the solar eclipse of October 14th, we have the, the lunar eclipse of October 28th. And on the Torah calendar, today is the Sabbath of Noah and next Sabbath, 
The 28th of October is the Sabbath of go out. And it's the call of Abraham to leave, to leave his country and go to the promised land that God had given to him. And one final detail that connects with October 28th. And actually the first time I've ever even brought this up because I have always gone by the birthday of August 4th, 1961. But there is a report that shows Bari Malik Shabazz. At Terrible Truth, Martha Tobridge speculates that Obama's date of birth was not August 4th, 1961, as he claims, but October 28th, 1959. She further suggests that he was born not in Hawaii, but in New York City with the name Bari M. Shabazz. Bari means of Allah. M is for Malik or Malachi, meaning king. Shabazz is the name taken by civil rights leader Malcolm X, who was born Malcolm Little. X used the names Malachi Shabazz, Malcolm Shabazz, and Malik L. Shabazz. Why would Obama have been given that name if he was the son of Stanley Ann Dunham and Barack Hussein Obama Sr.? Because he may in fact have been the son of Stanley Ann Dunham and Malcolm X. Trowbridge points out that Barry M. Shabazz was assigned Social Security number 08454-5926 in New York in 1974. She further notes that according to the Social Security Death Index, SSDI Bari M. Shabazz died in August 1994. The very important details about everything we're watching is that in 1973 there was a 21 or 22 day war called the Yom Kippur War. In 1973 this war began exactly on the Day of Atonement and it went for 21 or 22 days. Now in 2023, we have a war that began exactly on October 7th. And in 2023, the war began on the last day of tabernacles. Okay. Is this representative of the 21-day battle of Michael? As it says in Revelation chapter 12, starting in verse 7, And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and the angels were cast out with him. So was the war in heaven, which is a 21-day battle of Michael, is that the representation of the war that already began on earth on October 7th, taking us 21 days to the lunar eclipse of October 28th and to the Sabbath of Noah and to the Sabbath of go out? So many details that are all lining up that we need to consider on a day and hour you do not expect in the blink of an eye. No man knows the day or the hour. So is this the storm that we have been waiting for coming out of Virgo on October 28th, 21 days after the, the war began on October 7th, a 21 day battle in the heavens and all of these other details. I just wanted to put some of this together for you. No one knows the day or the hour. We are not saying the rapture has to happen on this day. But we do know that we are close and it could happen any day now. So let us remain vigilant and watchful. I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.